everybody. Welcome into the Nesson Studios. Michaela Vernava, Rachel Holt. You are watching the feed where we look at the best of the best from the week in social media. And as always, the internet never disappoints. You are correct, Michaela. There were some absolute gems this week. Starting off with the Boston Red Sox, who are down in Fort Myers for spring training, enjoying that sunshine. Very I'm jealous. jealous of them. I am First, jealous. the big news of the week. J.D. Martinez has joined the Red Sox. He was in Fort Myers, and the Red Sox couldn't tell us much. So Welcome. they pulled in Isaiah Thomas and just gave us the eyes. Remember when IT did this? But it said everything that we needed to know. Good enough for me. Yes. That's all I need. So it's no surprise the team was in a good mood for picture day, as are a lot of the fans after that news. So check out these gems. Yes, Andrew Benintendi, he cut the luscious locks, but the team helped solve the problem for us. All of the squad having fun in the sun. They were even swapping faces. Can you guess the socks here, Michaela? Can you? I'm confused and frightened. This does I'm not scared. look like them. I'm this really is scared. Mookie Betts and Brock Holt. So besides for that last pick, which was actually really scary, the team is looking good. <laughs> But of course, we're gonna have to see how they stack up against that other team yeah. that they've been compared to all off season. And it turns out the Sox are not the only ones in the AL East who can really work it in front of a camera lens. The Yankees tweeted a little sneak peek behind the scenes and their lineup doesn't look so intimidating when they're cheesing like that. No. A lot of grin there. And uh, all right, this might be a little scary. At least knowing what he can do with a bat that flex, well, I'm a little intimidated. <laughs> all right, but this is just lazy. Hopefully this was just between shoots because these guys clearly do not know their angles. And seriously, those pinstripes, a little busy. I thought the Sox bold solids really worked a lot better in front of the camera. Maybe we're a little biased, but I have to just agree with you there. <laughs> hey, speaking of fashion, one team is bringing back a trend that we can all get behind. The Washington Nationals wearing bucket hats. Uh, my question is, why did the bucket hat ever leave? I mean, they're very practical. Fashionable, oh, I don't know, but practical. Sun protection. They make sense for baseball. The pitchers showing off the latest fashion. Meanwhile, the LA Dodgers playing a game. Guess what's in the box? This could get risky, I feel like. It could. Looks like they're going easy on them here, though. Just a bobblehead this time. But you're right, that game has the potential to get uh, very ugly real quick. Yeah, well, on that note, let's switch over to basketball. The Celtics jet setting out to Detroit. Had a nice week off for NBA All-Star break. Marcus Smart, happy to have this guy back. And Al Horford carrying on some very precious cargo. Aww. Look at those little pink sneaks. Aww. So cute. Anytime there's a baby involved, you automatically win. I don't care what you're doing. Agreed, that or a puppy. Um, <laughs> and meanwhile, the Patriots, no days off. Rachel, how would you like to roll up to the Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru and have Matthew Slater taking your order? I think I'd be pretty confused at first, but hey, I'd go for it. Why not? You want how are you? How you doing? You guys doing good? No one willing to bet was not at Dunks giving their orders to Matthew Slater. Who's that? UFC fighters Kyle Bokniak and Calvin Cater. They were in here fresh off their big wins at UFC 220 at the Garden along with Rob Font. Very nice guys. Yes, and all they could talk about was the fact that they wanted donuts and coffee, but mostly donuts and now cater that wait man i know yeah it's look at this i mean cater and bakniak already back at it training to fight at ufc 223 in brooklyn Speed on Boys april 7th Speed. and two other boston-based fighters are also on that card mike rodriguez and this guy joe lozon okay so we're having a debate if you have cereal do you have milk or no you milk just the cereal i can't even believe we're talking about this i, I i'm i'm dumbfounded too milk or no milk in your cereal Rachel Lozon captioned that video, I want to punch this guy in the face, which I think it's safe to say that he's Team Milk, and I would agree with that wholeheartedly. It's warranted. Yeah. Team Milk, baby. Had some Honey Nut Cheerios this morning. I know you're a cereal fan as well. It's something we can all get behind here. And we drink the rest of the milk in the bottle. Always We're both huge milk. milk fans. Always finish your milk. By the way, yeah. I think I say milk weird, but you do. I do. Okay, You're Don't from New Jersey. Me. I still love yeah. milk. We can yes. all love milk. It's and still the same thing. Between getting ragged on for that, we both get ragged on by our coworkers. No one else drinks milk. What's wrong? Except for What's like little kids. I don't know. Yeah. I love milk. Could you grow awesome. up? You're not allowed to drink milk yeah. anymore. We get a milk mustache, got milk. We've gone strong. off the rails, Michaela. Yeah. We, uh, we, or we this is what happens out in the internet. It just goes awry. It just goes wild. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in to the feed. We'll end it on that note. 
as always, make sure to follow us on our social media channels, which you can see, we made it easy for you, at Nesson. On behalf of Michaela, thanks for tuning in, and obviously, tweet at us. And don't forget to drink your honey. <laughs> <laughs>